Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be the intro video for a new project. Uh, this is a project that I came up with. Uh, I'm doing it in collaboration with a whole bunch of people from Geeks and Beauties. Some people will be doing videos, some people will be doing it on their blogs, some people will be doing it on Instagram. And basically this is a declutter with a difference. It's a slightly different type of project. So the basic premise of this project, um, we've decided, well, I decided to call it Love It or Lose It. I think there's a television program with the same name in America or something, but whatever. Uh, so basically what we are going to be doing is once a month, in the middle of the month, because there's so many projects that start at the start of the month that it makes more sense to put it in the middle of the month, um, we're going to pick five to ten items and then over the course of the month we're going to work out whether this is something that we really love, something that we just kind of eh, or something that we really don't need in our lives anymore. Some things are probably going to be really easy to make decisions on, other things might be a little bit more difficult. Because of the type of project it is, nothing is off limits. So if it's something that's in your house or in your life and you're not really 100% sure whether it should be or not, then this is the kind of project that you need to do. I mean, I know a lot of people do that with that KonMari thing where you basically sit down and work out whether you love something or whatever. And it happens really rapidly. And for some people, they can't make decisions on stuff really rapidly. And I'm kind of like that. With a lot of things, I have to have used them a certain amount before I know whether or not I want them or I can use them or they work for me. So some people who do this project might be picking makeup type items or beauty or skincare or that kind of things. Other people might be picking clothes that are in their wardrobe that they're like, this piece of clothing sitting here and I haven't worn it. Do I really want it? And it's an opportunity to go through stuff, bags, shoes, knickknacks, gadgets that you bought because you thought that's going to be really interesting and help my life and don't, haven't used it yet. So basically we're just going to take the month, try these things out, see if we like them or not. And then at the end of the month long period, which is basically the same date next month, um, we're running this from the 15th of the 15th to the 15th of each month. So at the end of that time, you make a decision. Am I, do I love it? Do I want to keep it? Do I, is it something that I really want in my life and that I enjoy? In which case you'll keep it. Is it actually rubbish? Is it something I should just throw away? Or is it something that I, I can't gift or donate, therefore it needs to be thrown away because I don't want it? Is it something that you want to donate? Or is it something that you want to sell? You might have some things that are higher ticket items that you could potentially sell on um, or maybe swap with somebody else if you really want to do that. But that's kind of like bringing new stuff in, which we're not trying to do. Um, but you might be able to sell it on something like Depop or eBay or whatever. So it'll be a personal thing about whether or not you do any of those things. What the people do with those products is completely and utterly up to them. Um, for me, a lot of the stuff that I'm probably going to go through is probably stuff that will end up donated if I decide that I don't want to keep it anymore. Um, I, I used to buy a lot from um, charity shops, and so I like to give back to them as much as I can. So, you know, clothing items and household goods that are still in good working order, I will put into donation. Um, so, it's really like a personal guided kind of project. Now uh, we are actually running this monthly, um, so the next video, which is the 15th of September, will be going over what was in this month and just what we've decided to do with it, and then introducing the items for the next month. Now some people might not want to do it month by month, they might only want to do it a couple of times a year, which is going to be fine, it's just going to be an ongoing project for people to jump into and out of as they see fit. Um, they might have, you know, do it the first month and then realise that they can actually do it much quicker without spending like the whole month or whatever. 
completely up to everybody who is in this project. If you're not a member of Geeks and Beauties and you want to be, you should go join them. I'll put a link down below um, to join in this group. And even if you're not in Geeks and Beauties and you want to do this project, feel free to join in. And if you do, let me know so I can come and check your stuff out and add you to the master list, which we are going to have, of all the people who are doing it. So now that I've done five minutes of talking without actually doing anything else, I will get into the products that I've chosen. Um, I've had a pretty crap lead up to this and uh, not as organised as I would like to have been for this. Uh, so I'm actually keeping mine fairly simple for this first month, but I want to make sure that seeing as how I designed the thing, I should be involved in it. So I technically have eight products, but five of them are basically the same kind of thing. But I'm still going to count them as individuals because that's what I'm like. So I will do the, the smaller first five items. These are five lots of Scentsy scents, like Scentsy wax scent things, you know, put them in the melter. I've had these for ages and some of them, like I'm not really sure if I like them or not. Like I know I have one that's in the bedroom at the moment that a little iffy about like it has this weird afternote in it that I'm not sure I like um, so I have these five here that I'm going to try to use over the month because um, I have a warmer here and then I have a warmer in the bedroom so I should be at least able to try them out like once in the next month in one of the areas and see what I like or don't like about them if I decide I don't like them um, I'll probably see if I can find somebody who might like the scents. Um, if not, I, I don't really know. I might give them back to my scentsy person. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love that. Uh, so the first one is called Shimmer. I mean, as the, I've had these for ages, so this is an old one. Uh, they may not even make it anymore. And, yeah, it, it looks kind of weird. I mean, it doesn't look bad weird. It just, to me, it looks weird. This is a really sweet scent, and I think I'm not, that's why I'm not sure about, sure about it, is because it's quite sweet, and I'm not usually really into sweet scents, so we'll see. Uh, the next one is Huckleberry Sage, which, um, I don't really know what huckleberries are supposed to smell like. But I'm a bit worried about how the sage is going to smell because sage is not my favourite smell. Like at the moment, it just almost smells citrusy, which is kind of weird. And I have, you know, used a couple out of each of them. Um, I just don't remember. And I'm just like, I need to stop keeping these if I'm not going to, like, want to use them. Then we have Christmas Cottage, which I know, uh, I know this is supposed to be uh, Christmas scent, but... Whatever. I've used only one of these ones. This one is kind of, there's a touch of cranberry, but there's a really, I think it's cinnamon that's in it. And I'm not sure that I like that. So that's another one I have to try, definitely try it out. Then I have this one, which got really warm at some stage because it's a bit melty. Um, you know, they melt and then they harden up again. Uh, this is Clementine Clove, and the clove is the thing that worries me. Yeah, it's, it's, mm. We'll see. It's really hard to tell when you just sniff them. You kind of need to do, um, like, put them in the warmer. And the last one of these ones is Cider Mill. It's funny how many of these are orange. It's really strange because I've been using the um, Zany Laney scents. Like, I've got um, Dude Where's My Pie in my warmer in here at the moment. And um, Zany Lanes are don't have any dyes in them. <laughs> and I think that would be the way that I would want to go in the future, is ones that don't have dyes in them. See, this one smells exactly the same as Clementine Clove. I don't think I like that, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so those are the first five items. The second two are, well, the last two are actually clothing type items. Um, my mum and I used to knit a lot, mainly mum, but uh, we made a lot of scarves. And I have got ridden, rid of a lot of scarves over time. 
um, but I've kept a few and I th I'm not sure whether I'm keeping them for the right reasons because I don't really seem to wear them and I was like why am I keeping them if I'm not going to wear them and it is still kind of winter here at the moment um, so the first so the scarf that I have in is such a gorgeous colour that's one of the reasons I'm not sure about it but um, the weave like this the way this was actually done when you shake it out it gets wider or you can and shorter and then you can go like that. it's like a magic scarf and it's like it's a great color but I just don't know that so it just can get like really white because of the way it's knitted um, yeah so it's really cool but I don't know so I'm going to um, you know try to use it a couple of times like wear it a couple of times and see whether you know I feel good while I'm wearing it or not so that is that one and the last thing is this it's it's kind of a jumper but kind of not a jumper if you know what I mean it's like a poncho type of thing so it's <laughs> teal um, it's got fringy thing on the bottom of it and it's got this really long this is the neck the neck is like that long so it's like so you have to kind of like roll it down or pull it down um, and I've had this for ages I just I just don't know and I think I've probably worn it like twice or something. So, um, yeah, so this is another thing. I'm going to try to wear it a couple of times and see how I feel. And, yeah. So, those are the things that are in this project for me. Um, as I said, everyone else will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified. Leave me a thumbs up if you like interesting project type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.